Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to remove the wires from the connector and replace the, the wires in a different sequence. To do that, we would have to release the retaining clip on the connector. So we'll push up, put the small screwdriver in the slot, and slip it right out. And we repeat the process for several wires. All right, we'll remove the second wire, which is the pink wire. We'll push up on the connector, push down on the clip, and slip the wire out. Okay, pulling the wire gently out, notice which way the connector clip is oriented. Little metal tab here, which locks into the slot there. What we want to do is depress it so that we can slip it out. Now that we have the three wires out, pink, blue, and yellow, what we want to do is put them back in in the correct order. And that will be yellow, blue, and pink. First wire we'll put in is our yellow wire, and we'll rotate this around so the clip is up. Slip it in the slot. Grasp the second wire, slip the second wire in next to the yellow wire, push it in and just kind of pull back. Then the next wire is the pink wire, and we'll slip it in and then kind of pull back, and that sets it in place. So we have yellow, blue, pink orange and red. If one of the wires fails to stay in the socket, in other words, its retaining clip is damaged by pressing too hard and will not stay in but pulls out, we can repair that. The little metal tab right here that feels kind of sharp, if that is pressed down too far, it will not stay in the plastic connector housing. So we can take our screwdriver and just kind of move it up a little bit. And then we should be able to place it into the connector housing and it should hold in place. What we have done is reorder the wires in the plastic connector. The correct order is yellow, blue, pink, orange, and red. And that concludes reordering of the stepper motor wires.